Hello everyone, happy Monday. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host and all I did this weekend, y'all, <laughs> well, one, hosted two lap dance classes, went to two baby showers and went to a church service and all of a sudden the damn internet that went crazy on TikTok talking about some goddamn babbing. V-A-B-B-I-N-G. That is when you taking your fingers, putting them in your woo-ha, and you using the pussy juices as fragrance, perfume. You going in and out, and you like, bam, bam, bam. You know, behind your ears, behind your ears, on your neck, your wrist. And you basically putting the pussy juice in places that you would normally put your perfume. Y'all, I was like, you know what? It don't take long for something to catch on fire. I mean, y'all know we'll take anything and run with it. But this was something that people actually took and ran with it. So on TikTok, you had people that was vabbing and was like, I'm going to let y'all know how it work out, right? But I had some people that were critics and they was like, you know what? I don't think people are taking certain things into consideration. Everybody might not be able to vab or do the vabbing, if that's what they want to call it, you know, because... I just seen the uh, the vabbing, so I don't want to say vab. I'm gonna say the vabbing. Everybody may not want to do it because everybody's vaginal health is not the same. And what happens if you have a bacteria and you're taking it and you're spreading the bacteria to different parts of your body? I say, hmm. Now that is something to consider because you know initially you know you have the hype of everything, but nobody's really kind of thinking things through. And then it was another thing to consider. Um, they were saying. <laughs> You know, we in Louisiana, y'all, it's hot here. And they basically like, okay, you know, come on, Louisiana, people don't do it. It's too hot. Like, it's too hot. We don't want it to smell like no damn crab ball going on. But y'all know, y'all know how I feel about that. Like, you know, we ain't about to blow each other down about our bodies and all of this kind of stuff. But let me say this. We all, as women, have what's called a natural pheromone, okay? So it does not matter how much you bathe, how much you wash. It does not matter what type of products you use, it does not matter. Over a period of time, your body will start producing its own natural pheromone. Now, this is the kicker, right? You may not like the way your pheromones smell. You may not, you may feel like, oh my God, like I don't really care for the way my pheromones smell, but it's not for you. This pheromone is to attract the opposite sex. And normally, men like the way pussy smell. It's clean pussy. They like the way pussy smell. Like when I'm saying clean pussy, um, like when a man know that you clean, he he not gonna he not gonna spare your ass. He gonna suck, lick, and fuck every part of your body. I know. You get what I'm saying? So when a man feel confident in the way you take care of yourself, and they know that you have really good vaginal health, you're not gonna. He he's gonna. He's going to do with you what he wants to do with you, okay? Um, so just understand that those uh, pheromones that your body is producing is to attract the opposite sex, right? And because I'm talking about pheromones, I cannot let this video end without letting you know about the pheromones that I personally like. Of course, y'all know my favorite is Head Over Heels, okay? Head Over Heels is for women who want to smell like a grown woman. Um... I make sure I say that because this is not a sweet type of pheromone. Oh, but baby, when it mixes with your natural pheromones, it lets off this, this beautiful aroma. Oh my God, it smells absolutely amazing, okay? So we do have the Head Over Heels, and it is on the website. And then we have Pure Instinct, okay? Pure Instinct was some of, one of the first pheromones to come out, and then we have the one for the ladies, and then we have the blue one, which is unisex. Um... The, the one for the ladies, the pink one is a more sweet smell and the blue one is a more neutral smell. But again, when they mix with your natural pheromones, the way it smells on me is going to smell completely different on you. So just understand that when you buy this, I wear it, it smells completely different on me. When you wear it, it will smell completely different on you. But overall, they smell really, really, really good. Okay. So that is that on that, y'all. Um, if you missed the lap dance class, I just uploaded the video to YouTube. Uh, the song was T-shirt and panties. Um, 
And my ladies cut up, baby. They cut up. I'm still practicing. I want to shout out Jean Taylor, who was the choreographer who taught the dance. Jean Taylor, you did an absolutely phenomenal job, as usual. Jean will be back here at the PPG store uh, fall 2020. No, I'm sorry, fall 2022 um, to teach us a whole nother routine for the fall. Um, this Friday and Saturday is ladies night. The theme is to let me out. Uh, we will be celebrating Jody's birthday. Uh, we will have Nikki Nevea here. Um, Bad Intentions is going to be uh, performing for the first time. And Mr. Rome will be making an appearance as well. So that's going to be awesome. Make sure you bring your ones. You know, y'all know when y'all come and party with me, y'all know how this goes. Y'all know what to bring. So y'all come just, you know, with your open minds and come to have a really great time because that's what we're doing this Friday and Saturday. Make sure when you purchase your tickets through the cash app in the memo section, you put that you're going to attend Friday night show or Saturday night show. That way I know what ticket to reserve for you. When you come in, stop at the front counter, pick up your ticket because uh, that's where it's going to be. That You know, you got to stop at the front. All y'all love to come and bring a little tag along with you. Yo, I'm bringing my friend to be able to turn up. Fine. She just need to have her money at the door so she can pay at the door when she come in. Um, everybody will have table seats and I will have extra chairs. I'm not going to do it as a way to like reserve the seats because last time I think that just took so much time to where, okay, everybody had reserved seats. The way I'm doing it is the seats are here. We're not going to oversell the show. Everyone will have somewhere to sit. However, the seating is first come first serve. So when you and your group come together, if y'all going to be running late, y'all better send somebody to, you know, make sure that y'all all at the table together. Not unless you have a party of 10. Like if you have a party of 10, then I will reserve those seats. I have three tables that seat 10. So if you have a party of 10, I will reserve the party of 10s. But reserving seats for like one pe one person, two, you know, three people, whatever. No, y'all can just come in and get in where y'all fit in. But if you got a group of 10 and it's like a bachelorette party, birthday party, divorce party, whatever, you know, I will reserve it for you all. Okay. Um, and I think that is going to end my video. Y'all, if y'all ain't watched P-Valley, y'all better go and watch it, baby. Oh, Lord, yesterday was intense. I heard that we ain't got no show coming this Sunday. I feel like we don't need one. We need a week to grieve. We need a week to grieve because, baby, it was intense on P-Valley. I don't know if y'all watched it, but it, it was very intense. Okay. Um, but that's about it. I think that is going to be it for me today. I am super excited and super blessed, y'all. And let me end this video on this note because I um, attended a service yesterday at Beacon Light. Y'all, Beacon Light had it going on. But one thing that he that stuck out to me that he said, um, so not everybody possess what is called an anointing, right? But for the people who are chosen to have an anointing placed on their life, the anointing is not for you, but the anointing is really for the people, right? So, you know, that's one thing that I, I always like to let people know. Like, I work, but I'm 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 a servant leader. Like, I'm a I'm a in other words, I lead, but I serve at the same time, right? So what I understand is the anointing that's on my life is not necessarily for me, but the anointing is for the people, right? He said something that was so profound. Anything that tries to get in the way of the anointing that is put in your life, right? Anything that tries to get in the way of that anointing, God has his way of removing it because you can't make God out of a lie, right? So just know that if you carry an anointing, anything that tries to get in the way of it, You'll be wondering why things are happening the way it's happening. Because you got to be careful when you pray to pray and you say, Lord, let your will be done. Not my will, but your will. Sometimes when his will is being done, it ain't pretty. It ain't pretty at all. But what you got to do is step back and continue to believe and continue to push and continue to get up every day and do what you're supposed to do and operate in that anointing. That's what you have to do. So I just wanted to throw that out there because a lot of times we get weakened, you know, in our well-doing. But I just want to encourage you today to continue with your well-doing because everything else will be worked out, okay? Um, with that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. Of course, the store is open. I am here working. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, come and see me or send me an email at onlyonepg at gmail.com. 
You all enjoy the rest of your day and y'all be blessed.